I, 44 meters, love my wife, 40 F, but do not want another child. Subtle ultimatum received from her. I, 44 M, and my wife, 40 F, are both in our second marriage. With me having a child in my previous marriage, she came into this relationship without a child but was very upfront that two children are her plan. And if I'm not on board, that would be a deal breaker. This was 2015 when we were 37 and 33 years old and I was on board with that plan. Due to multiple layoffs between us, required long distance relationship for a spell, and COVID, we didn't get married until after five years of dating. So we quickly went to work on our first child together. We had a healthy girl who is now 18 months old. She's obviously still a handful, as most any toddler is. But you can see the light at the end of that two-year tunnel where things start feeling much less chaotic around the house. While I was fully on board with getting pregnant and sharing the experience with my wife who was doing this for the first time, once our daughter was born I was blindsided by how little I realized I wanted another baby. I was now 43 and it had been 10 years since I had my first child and I somehow just didn't remember how hard a new baby can be. It got even harder from there once we determined our daughter had severe food allergies and intolerances that required drastic and difficult diet changes for mom who wished to continue breastfeeding as well as sensory processing issues that bring out very aggressive behavior and extreme tantrums if not managed properly. I have spent the last 18 months playing the part, doing the best I can, constantly pushing aside the lack of joy I get from my time together as a family. My wife and I communicate about this and she is amazing at giving me time and space when my patience isn't what it should be. So I repay that in putting a smile on my face and being dad whenever that's what is needed from me. There are absolutely moments of joy, love, and affection with my daughter. But I also find myself dreading our time together. Whether that's planned one-to-one -one time or just the typical nights and weekend family time. She is now ready to start trying for our second one and I do not want to have another one. At all. We've talked about this as well. And our most recent conversation is what brought me here to crowdsource perspective. In our last convo she asked. You said you worry about resenting me if we have another one. But will that resentment be temporary? As in. Once we're through those first couple of tough years. You'll move past that? Quote. And to that. I can honestly answer yes. As I learned from both children. As the child ages, life gets easier with them. And I can focus more on the relationship with a child and not the endless work. Therefore yes, I do believe any resentment I'd feel would pass. However, her follow-up response to my answer is what really threw me. She said, if we don't have a second child, I'll resent you forever. But your resentment will only be temporary. So it makes sense to have a second one. I kind of got her point and acknowledged the logic at the time. But I am really struggling with that now. As it sank in, I feel she casually gave me an ultimatum. We have a second child or I'll never forgive you. I.e. Our marriage would be over. I feel like regardless of her hopes and dreams, there should still be a place in her heart that could eventually accept not having another child if it meant that much to me that we don't. Ever since, I have made excuses not to try for the second one and I'm trying to process my feelings about the ultimatum before I bring it up to her. But in the end, if that's where she is, how do I decide between having a baby I will not be a good father and partner for? At least for a good while. To stay in a marriage versus declining a second one and most likely end up twice divorced with two children from two moms tldr she's ready to try for a second child i strongly do not want one her subtle ultimatum really threw me and i'm not sure how to handle this you are both on your second marriage 
so you should both know that best laid plans before marriage almost never match the reality and tests that come with actually being married. Things change. If she had had a traumatic labor or postpartum depression or whatever it may be and decided she actually didn't want to have another child, would she expect you to hold her to having the second child you both agreed on before marriage? Of course not. Having children is a two yes or no level decision. Be honest. And ask for couples counseling to work through this issue. You would both benefit from a neutral party in the room to take the temperature down. And it shows that you do want to make it work. You're not running away or being passive aggressive. But you need to both be willing to talk it out. Ever since, I have made excuses not to try for the second one. Yeah, you need to stop that. Clarify that when you said the resentment would pass. You didn't mean before the kid actually got here. And you don't feel comfortable moving ahead with the project knowing you won't be a fully present and supportive parent until at some point after the kid is probably old enough to notice. She's almost certainly not going to be happy about that. And it might turn out to be a deal breaker. But the reality is that she's made it clear having one more child is more important to her than the marriage. Getting hung up on how you feel about her delivery of an ultimatum that really just boils down to her letting you know where she stands on that is less important than making your own call on whether you want this kid or not. Or, from the sound of it, simply owning that you don't before you waste any more of anyone's time. Here's the thing. Special needs children change the landscape. Processing issues are extremely difficult. And it won't get better with age. Also, what if you get a second child with special needs? Neither of you are the young parents that were envisioned when you decided on two children. Take it to a couple's counselor. Can we talk about the quality of life of your existing child? The new baby and baby-to-be? You have an 18-month-old who needs extra care and attention but going to then split your time and energy by adding another one into the mix. Additionally, your 18-month-old is still very young they could develop or show additional as they grow. That's not even to add that the baby-to-be could be born with intolerances and or special needs. Your wife has this vision of what she wants her life to look like. But is she and you prepared to deal with the day-to-day -day reality of it? Are you both looking at how not only your daily lives would be, but also your kids? Um honestly your experience with a child with serious food allergies and sensory processing issues. Hum is this the baby version of autism? Is going to be different to your experience with your older child who you didn't mention having these issues. Things may get easier for a few years but sensory processing issues can get harder in the teenage years. And what if you have another child and they have the same sorts of allergies and sensory issues? Aren't these things mostly genetic i.e. strong likelihood they'll crop up in your next child? So I'm not arguing with you. But I think you and your wife need to be better informed about your toddler's future needs as well as about how you'd manage one or two or more twins are more common as parents age high needs kids honestly as someone with a kid who has sensory issues and asd don't have another until you've found your groove your resentment will never be temporary the first years aren't the tough years that you navigate and then everything is normal it's a constant process of guidance and teaching for your child likely to be seeing a specialist or two as you deal with new behaviors and coping mechanism development you both need to discuss this first before having a second and where you're at financially for this cost how will it go if you have two kids with the same condition etc if you don't want to have another child then you shouldn't be committing to it you can change your mind i think this is beyond reddit you both have understandable views on this. I think you need marriage counseling. Your wife is fooling herself if she thinks the resentment would be temporary. 
You are 44 and your wife is 40 any child could she worse issues than the child you already have. Do not have another kid you not want. I feel like regardless of her hopes and dreams, there should still be a place in her heart that could eventually accept not having another child if it meant that much to me that we don't. What you are saying is that you think she should privilege your preferences over her own hopes and dreams. The conflict here is that she is unwilling to agree with you that your preferences should be more important to her than her own preferences are. And you are unhappy that she is prioritizing her own preferences rooted in her upfront dealbreaker over your wants. This is the kind of situation marriage counselors are made for. Go see one. She wants another baby. You don't. You're no longer compatible with each other. Decided if this is a deal breaker for you and plan accordingly. I feel like regardless of her hopes and dreams, there should still be a place in her heart that could eventually accept not having another child if it meant that much to me that we don't. Why? Separate from the issue of whether to have a second child. I think this is the crux of the issue you're posting about. And I may be wrong. But it sounds like you're upset because the marriage is not as important to her as her life plan. Or perhaps that you are jealous. In a sense. That you are willing to get over this issue if it doesn't go your way but she is not. And it makes you feel like you are more committed to her than she is to you. On a certain level. Your wife is right. She's not willing to budge on this issue. And if you want to make the marriage work then you need to make her life plan work. Love is not enough to make a marriage work. Compatibility is huge. Your life plan changed after having one kid. But hers didn't. That's a problem. I think you should both hash it out in couples counseling. Children are a deal breaker. And you agreed to too. You don't get to decide that she has to let that go. You can decide you refuse to try for more. But you don't get to decide what happens because of that choice. If you're 44 now, you'll be well into your 60s by the time a second child turned 18. Is that something you're up for? If you barely have enough bandwidth for your toddler, adding another baby to the mix is going to create a lot of stress and resentment. What if the second child has the same issues as your daughter? Don't be pressured into this if you can't give an enthusiastic yes. Counseling for both of you would be an excellent idea. I think people are being really short-sighted here with all the comments about how you made a promise and now you're backing out of it. Having a specific number of children is not like promising to prioritize vacations, agreeing live in a specific city or even deciding to get a pet. Having children means making a conscious choice to bring another being into existence and support that person through life. For whatever it needs, Op seems to have learned by trying it out that he is not an enthusiastic parent and just goes through the motions with his current child. That is not a good circumstance for any child. Especially since you cannot predict whether your child will grow out of the traits you don't like. Ideally for parenting, you need too enthusiastic, or at least willing, Yes is to be locked in for life with the kid. Without those. In my opinion. It's a no. Regardless of any promise you made. If you are not going to contribute to positive conditions for a child. Don't make one. If it is for some reason that important to your wife to have two. Then you need to go to counseling to work this out with a professional. Are separate. But don't let people on the internet convince you that you owe her another child. The person who is most important in this scenario is not her and not you it's the child you would be agreeing to create. If you cannot give that child what you owe them, then don't create the situation to begin with. She was honest from the start that she wanted two children. Don't act all shocked now that she's insisting on a second child. Don't decide what's in her heart. She knows what's in her heart and she's communicating it clearly. You have all the power to dash her dreams. 
but she quite rightly will never be able to forgive you if you pull the plug. You want some professional help here, this is above Reddit's pay grade. I think everyone else here is spot on with the therapy suggestion. I was your wife in this situation in my own marriage. I made it very clear to my husband I wanted more than one kid from the get-go. By the time we were on the other side of having a COVID baby we were hit with the curveball that he's on the spectrum. I clung to the idea of another baby for a while, but ultimately realized the stress of the idea of a second baby that could also need additional care was crushing my husband. He made some really good points that got through to me like, I know and love this kid. I don't want to take time and resources away from him for one I don't know. It took my heart a bit of time to catch up to my head after I agreed. But like others have pointed out sometimes you have to give up your imagined plan to face reality. And where are we now? With a toddler getting ready to join his peers in a typical classroom setting because we were able to focus on early intervention when it counted. I understand that this would be a massive compromise for your wife. If I could talk to her I would advise her to think about what is best for the family unit you already have. I am so happy with my less stressed amazing partner and perfect single kid. You have to be open to embracing happiness differently than you daydream. Best of luck to you. I don't see anything about spending time with the other kid or how you fit this other child in your life. How do you manage this child? How does she feel about this stepchild? You don't say, I spend my time with my children, you say my child. You don't need anymore. Your resentment may pass, but it also may not. What if the extended period of resentment pushes you past the point of no return in your relationship with your wife? You may not be able to weather the storm and make it through to the other side. Especially if you're only barely making it now. What if the overall resentment and dread poisons the relationship you have with your first child? And then the second as well? I would have another conversation with her. Tell her that you aren't happy. Did you tell her that? You need help with how much you're struggling. And there's no way bringing another pregnancy, infant into that is a good idea. Also ask more questions. What is it about having a second child that she wants? Experiencing the milestones a second time? Replicating her own family? Your daughter having a sibling? And then what is she willing to trade to get that? Would she be okay if you were pushed low enough that you were clinically depressed for years? Honestly man it sounds like you already are. Would she be okay if you ended up divorced? Would she be okay with another kid with special needs? See a counselor to guide you guys through these discussions. Kids are two oys and one no situations. Don't bring a child into this world that you aren't enthusiastic about. You'll be 64 when the kid is 20. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.